Hello and welcome. In this video, I will be showcasing the use of automated test execution and report generation through the Simulink Report Generator to enhance the testing you do with Simulink Realtime. I will also be making use of Simulink 3D animation to visualize how my device under test is performing. The use case for this demonstration is to test the design of a control algorithm meant to suppress flutter that can occur on an aircraft's wing during different flight conditions. In particular, the set of tests we are going to execute are meant to see if the algorithm can successfully satisfy the requirement for suppressing the rotational flutter at a specific pitch angle over several different speeds and altitudes. For each of these conditions, we will know that we have satisfied the requirement if the dampening ratio is positive. Previously, we successfully performed these tests virtually in Simulink. Now we have embedded the algorithm onto a processor and we want to see how the algorithm performs in real time using Simulink real time as the testing environment. For your reference, my example here is an elaboration of an example that ships with the Simulink Report Generator tool. Before we get started with the demonstration, I want to show you the setup I have here in my office. On my table here, I have a real-time computer loaded with a Simulink real-time kernel. On top of it is a processor where my algorithm has been embedded. The two systems are passing raw data between them with this cable. A monitor has been connected to the target computer so that we can monitor different signals coming from the embedded processor and from within our model. To start the demonstration, I've opened up the Report Explorer. On the left pane, you can see I've loaded a report template I made earlier. In this middle pane, you can see the different components that can be used to create a report template. To demonstrate how to go about structuring a report with these components, I'm going to create a new chapter by dragging in the chapter component to the left pane under the desired parent component. We'll call this chapter My Chapter. Now I want to loop through some MATLAB code. To do this, I need to find the for loop component and drag that into my template. We'll keep the defaults this time. Now we'll drag in the evaluate MATLAB expression component. This is where I can script the control and interactions with Simulink real time in order to execute my test. I also can add analysis code like the function I'm calling here. Next, we'll add a paragraph component, which will add text to our report based on the analysis. The text can either be static, as I'm doing here, or it can be scripted to be more dynamic based on the results gathered up to this point. Now that I've demonstrated how to go about creating the template, I'm going to delete what we did and we'll start the testing. This report template has been constructed to execute the test either virtually on my desktop or in real time. Since I chose real time, the model is now being built into a real time application. It will then be downloaded to the target computer. Now the report template will execute the first test. Using Simulink 3D animation, I've attached a virtual reality scene of the aircraft wing to the real time simulation. This enables me to monitor the flutter and visually see how well the, our controller is performing. At the end of the simulation, I'll collect the data and store it for analysis done later in the report. Then the speed and altitude parameters are modified and the next test is started. Since each simulation is 15 seconds and there are 16 tests total, I've sped up this section of the video so that the last 15 tests won't take so long to get through. You're probably noticing through the virtual reality that some of the tests aren't going so well. We'll be able to verify this later with plots and analysis located in the report. This is probably a good time to mention that I programmed the report template to email me with the report when it's finished. This functionality is very useful if I want to step away from the testing. When the tests are done, I'll receive an email with the report attached. In that report, I'll be able to quickly see the test results that in a moment will be popping up on the screen. I can use these to validate how well our algorithm performed. Now the report is being finalized and will be emailed to me. Now we'll go to my email and open up the report. Here you see the five chapters that correspond to the chapter components we had in the report template. In the test summary chapter, I can quickly see which tests were successful 
and which were failures. Here in the table, we can easily see in the last column that there were indeed several failures. It looks like we'll need to do some further investigation and make some changes to our controller design. To summarize what you've seen, you have seen me take a set of tests done virtually in Simlink and use them to test the end product in real time. This was done in an automated fashion with concise report being generated and even emailed to me at the end. We also took advantage of the virtual reality to visualize how well our testing was progressing. This was all made possible through the tight integration Simlink Realtime has with the rest of the MathWorks toolchain. Thank you for watching.